Hello everybody, my name is Weefies, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, as per usual, we're going to be looking at the best Hermitcraft meme from the subreddit r slash Hermitcraft. And, of course, if you do enjoy this video, then please do consider subscribing and leaving a like. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. Regardless, I do sincerely hope you enjoy, and let's get right into today's video, the best Hermitcraft memes, part 21, I think? I don't know. Exuma. A problem with the data packs that causes the elytra to be dropped by the ender dragon. Illegal elytra. <laughs> Just say it's illegal, and trust me, no one will touch it because, it, as you might know, it is illegal to break the law. Corrales, we need to talk about your gambling. Huh? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. You literally wasted over a stack of diamonds. Uh, chill, I got this under control. I, I know I can make it big. You have an addiction. You need help. I hate to say it, Corrales, but they're right, buddy. You gotta stop gambling. Exuma getting elytras. Hermits slowing developing, or slowly developing, I guess. Yes, they are progressing very slowly, a nice medieval timeline, and then bam, Elytra. Exuma just flying all over the place, making wreaking havoc. That, that dog is so adorable. Hermitcraft Season 7. Listen, I can explain. Iskel, why'd you take five seeds to tame my parrot? Five? Mine ain't as many as a family of four. You guys are getting parrots? Poor Mumbo, gotta name that chicken. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Could you not stop being memed for five minutes? Mumbo couldn't find a parrot because Green killed them all. And once again, you gotta do what you gotta do. He couldn't find a parrot, but Green, Green had to kill them. What can I say? He had to kill them. Greenite. I am Greenite Challenge. I am Greenite Challenge. Yes. Is 12 much? Depends on the context. Diamonds? No. Bamboo? Yes. It's. 12 bamboo is a prestigious amount of bamboo. You gotta be really rich to have 12 bamboo, so this guy should be thankful. 12 bamboo. Whoa. This is worthless. <laughs> I like the not made with me Matic in the bottom. Yeah, Iskella. Uh, I think you had a bad deal there, buddy. I think you had a bad deal. Grian. Oh well. Wait. That's better. Yeah, he, he snapped that pair out of existence. Looks like there's no more. Jingler. Jangler. Jungler. After all these years, finally, I have them all. He has them all. What can I say? He has them all. Mumbo and Green, arguing about who the best hobbit is. Me, an intellectual. Neither of you is. A, and neither of you is. Since hobbits don't like stairs. I mean, he's not wrong. So I hate to say it, guys, but yeah, none of you are the best hobbit. Green. Scar's clock. Green. Mumbo's Mordor. <laughs> Got more doors, more doors for days. Hermit challenges. Slime farming first shop. How'd that go for you, Mumbo? How'd that go for you? What about demise? We already had it. We've had one, yes. What about a second demise? Wouldn't that be fun? That would. When Iskel is forced to mine 10,000 blocks, but knows he can make a slime farm from it. Stonks, he benefited. He took the challenge and he made it into money. Challenging Iskel to mine 10,000 blocks. Mumbo. Iskel making a slime farm, baby? Absolutely not. Made with me, Matic. <laughs> News. Poultry Man retires. Jungle Bandit rises. As many of us know, Green revealed his identity as the Vigilante Poultry Man in his Hermitcraft Season 6 finale. Some would expect this to be his retirement. As a matter of fact, it would very well be so. His cover is blown. He can no longer be the man in the chicken costume in public. But as we all know, you can't keep Grian down. While yes, Poultry Man has retired, the Jungle Bandit has risen. Grian still brings justice to the server. However, instead of throwing eggs at fellow hermits, he throws zombies. And instead of hijacking all the mail systems, he hijacks nether portals, those belonging to Iskal 85, so to be particular. So far, our operatives are unsure of his motives. Nonetheless, the Jungle Bandit has come to Hermitcraft Season 7. In other news, Good Times with Scar comes into Season 7 with a slow start. But a good one, to be sure. Why would a fly land on something like this? Rats should be ashamed of falling into this trap. Bears? Oh, this is ridiculous, it's right in the open. But let's be honest. I love gambling, and that is no trap. Hermitcraft recap. Doc will likely have an Iron Golem farm next episode. Tango. I am four parallel universes ahead of you. I already got an iron farm. Maybe more than one. B-dubs. Doc. G 
Korean who sold them the house. Just watch him fight, buddy. Just watch him fight. Twelve diamonds. Twelve bamboo! It's so much more worth it. No, even, even in the bamboo rainforest. When Iskal is selling a stack of bones for diamonds, and Lomo talks him into taking twelve bamboo instead. Charisma. He definitely is the charismatic one. B00100. I'm the richest hermit. Corrales. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, buddy. Just sure, sure. And I'm gonna go gamble and lose all my money. Scar's magic clock. Gurian. Mumbo's Mordor. They won't leave him alone. They <laughs> That's such a funny image. I like I know I've seen it before, like the rewind and everything, but it's still so hilarious. Honey blocks. Gold Iscalium. Yes, we have regular Iscalium, which, which is which it's good and all. But now we also have the gold Iscalium, which is priceless. Oak slab. Stone slab. How we'll add petrified slab as well. But Etho slab is supreme. Etho slab is the best slab in the game. I love to build with Etho's head. It's probably my favorite Minecraft feature, building with Etho. Easy. What gives people feelings of power? Money. Status. Is it status or status? 12 bamboo. Bamboo is the supreme currency of the world, and if you have it, you should feel powerful. Mambo after convincing Iskal to sell him a stack of bones for 12 bamboo. You fool. He fell victim to one of the classic blunders. Easy peasy. Planning to be a redstone pro. Grian. Stress. They will both evolve into redstone professionals, but I just make sure there's no tant here on Grian's build or it won't end well. What gives people feelings of power? Money. Status. More parrot heads! That, I, in my life, that's what I want. I just want more parrot heads. Please. And don't take that seriously. If I had a nickel for every time I've had the Eye of Saren in my base, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Yes! <laughs> if Grian had the Eye of Sauron many times, he should be rich by now. But he's only had it twice, which is weird in and of itself. Scar figuring out where the zombies are coming from. Hold up. It, is, is that Grian watching me through binoculars? Grian, Grian, what are you doing there? Mumbo and Hermacraft Season 7 starts. Oh, I gotta get me one of those. Oh, elytras, I miss them. Flying around was so fun. Every single seed in the game. Grian's bird. <laughs> Gimme. Grian. Mumbo. Hey, I, 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 let me just, let me, let me just reach over grab that mustache. Bye! How many can I put you down for? A lot? Oh, please say a lot, I need this. Iskel 85. <laughs> yes, give me, give me the parrot head. Give me your head, parrot! When Grian says he won't prank anyone, but does it anyway. Sorry. Uh, force of habit. It was, just, it was just my native, natural instinct to prank someone, you know? It happens. It happens. Natural urges. Iskel, where is your parrot? Mumbo. Good question. Don't look at that pile of buns in the corner. Just ignore that. Let's let's continue having a nice conversation. Where, where's your parrot, Iskel? How's your parrot doing? Mumbo should name his sword Sting. Oh, like the Lord of the Rings. That's, that's not a bit. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. I second that. The architect boys vibing in the jungle. Scar trying to build his snail. <laughs> he, I, he just wants to live in peace, but he's surrounded by the trifecta of hobbits and whatever Iskal is at this point. Mumbo. Slime balls. Iskal. Massive slime farm. Mumbo. Now that's what I'm talking about. I love the mustache. I think that is perfectly the scale of what Mumbo Jumbo's mustache size is. Parrot. 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 That. Look, I if I've ever seen a parrot, it's definitely the last one. I, I don't think any one of the other ones are actually parrots. Ah, yes. <laughs> parrot. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful if I've ever seen it. And now, as per usual, we have two pieces of absolutely incredible fan art for you guys. And the first one comes from Junimo, and they drew this beautiful picture of Larry, the very frightening snail. <laughs> Beware of Larry. He has a mustache. He can look both ways at once. He is coming for you slowly, but he's definitely coming for you, and you should be very scared. This, that's so good. I've, like, I cannot draw. So this is absolutely adorable. It's so incredible. I 
please teach me how to do this. It looks so good. I like the grass in the front and then the blurry grass in the back. And of course, the snail. It's absolutely adorable, but I already mentioned that. And the second piece of fan art is from user Toothpaster. Toothpaster. Toothpaster Abisafoam. I'm sorry. Uh, Doc and the goats. And that, let me just say, that looks, that looks beautiful. There's nothing else to say about it. The expressions on the goats. Literally, if I was being captured by Doc M around the neck, that is exactly what I would look like. Neck, feet, four legs, and everything. If I was a goat and I was being captured by Doc M, which who looks great, by the way, that's what I would look like. Lovely, lovely fan art. I love it. I love the art style. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing. It really means the world to me. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And peace out. Bye.